Hi guys, welcome back to our channel again. In this video, we will see how we can download CCleaner and install CCleaner on our Mac computer. So at first, we need to go to this website ccleaner.com. Once we are in this website, then we will find two options like free download and by CCleaner Pro. Definitely, in this video, we will use free download. But if you are interested, you can also purchase this software. If you don't find the download link, the other way to find the download link is from this menu. So from here, you can easily download the CCleaner. Okay, from there you can choose download center and from there you can uh, get the free download button of CCleaner. So I'm going to hit this free download button. Uh, this is a green button and I want to start downloading this thing fast. So once I click the free download, then we'll get uh, this type of page. CCleaner, the number one tool for cleaning your Mac. Okay, and here you will see two versions of CCleaner are there. One is free version and this professional version, like the button. So our goal is to download this version. So I'm going to hit here, download button, and it will start downloading the software. You will see at the bottom of the browser that it is downloading. Once the download is finished, we need to go to the download location to start installation of the software. I'm going to open the finder window. So I just click there and the finder window will be appeared. And from here, I'm going to downloads folder. Uh, so in this download folders, I will see uh, that is downloaded uh, the CC Mac setup. So this is the C cleaner. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to install it. So to install it, just double click on top of it and then wait for a few seconds. And then it will start verifying and some other things it will start uh, checking. And then after that, you will find this thing. So here you will see C cleaner install instructions. Click and drag the CCleaner icon onto the application folder. So to complete the installation, we have to do, uh, we have to click here, drag, and we have to drop inside this applications folder. So I'm going to click here, and then I'm dragging and I'm dropping on top of the applications folder. Once that uh, you drop in the application folder, the applications window will be appeared, and from here you will find the CCleaner software and you will see the CCleaner software is downloaded uh, installed over there and here you will see the CCleaner app is there if you don't find the CCleaner app here you can do one thing you can uh, go to the search on uh, and then you can start typing CCleaner and then you will find the CCleaner application uh, very easily over there okay to open the application you just need to double click on top of it or you can also do it other way so let me close this thing first so that uh, we can uh, see how we can start cycling very easily so i'm going to hit this close to close the finder and i also don't need so i'm going to close this thing and once it is done uh, we can also remove this i'm going to uh, remove it to trash okay because this software i don't need anymore so i'm going to close this uh, downloads also Okay, now we have to open the CCleaner. So to open the CCleaner, you can do different ways. One of the options is click on the go and then go to the applications. And from here, you can uh, see CCleaner, just double click on top of it and it will be opened. So this is the lengthy process and the shortcut process is just hold command key and press space bar of your keyboard and the spotlight search will be appeared over there. And then start typing CCleaner, C cleaner. And if you start typing very few letters it will show you that ccleaner application is there so just double click on top of it and the ccleaner window will be appeared but before going to the ccleaner window sometimes you will get this type of message for the first time ccleaner.app is an app downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it we have to click on open to start the ccleaner to start the ccleaner so i'm going to hit the open button and then very soon the ccleaner uh, application window will be appeared once it is appeared then we can do uh, cleaning or uninstalling something from our Mac so on the CCleaner uh, is open then you will find this type of thing like CCleaner needs full uh, disk access to work correctly to grant access uh, open system preference using the button below uh, then select full disk access on the left then click the lock at the bottom to make changes uh, click the plus on right and add CCleaner from the application folder. So let's uh, complete the steps. So I'm going to hit open preferences first. So it will open the of, uh, system preferences or like uh, system preferences. And after that is showing that select full disk access on the left. Okay, so we have to find uh, this option now. Select full disk access on the left. So here is the 
uh, left and from here we have to find the full disk access this option here it is mentioning okay and the third of uh, third step is uh, click the lock at the bottom to the changes so here we have to click here so it will be unlocked and then we have to type the password if we have password then we have to put the password otherwise you don't need to put any password and then we have to press this unlock button so i'm going to hit unlock and then uh, it will be unlocked you will see this lock previously it was locked now it is unlocked okay so now step four uh, click the plus on the right and add c cleaner from the application folder so here we have to click this plus okay so i'm going to plus and then what is showing uh, click the plus on the right and add ccleaner from the application folder so from here we have to uh, find the ccleaner thing okay so we have to go to the application folder so here is the applications and from here we have to uh, choose ccleaner so if you don't find you can search here otherwise you can click here and then you have to click on open this one okay and that's all and ccleaner will have the full disk access until it quite you can choose to quite ccleaner app now or do it on your own later okay so you can uh, choose later and then you can close this thing okay then we are ready then click on close now you are ready to use the ccleaner we can use ccleaner to clean our computer hard disk in our computer there might be some unnecessary files or extension or which is temporary using ccleaner we can easily remove this so at first we need to click analyze this button and then it will analyze and it will show us uh, these are the garbages we can clean so once we click the analyze button uh, basically it will take some time like one minute to few minutes based on the performance and based on the files it will search so uh, even the hard disk also matters how much space it is searching once it is searched then it will show you a history for my case for example it is still searching so i need to wait a couple of more minutes uh, to finish the searching and once it is finished then we will get this type of summary like right now uh, it is able to remove this 5 gigabyte of space and these are the things it wants to clean okay so these are the garbage these files or this uh, temporary information we don't need so to clean it we just need to click on run cleaner and once i click run cleaner it will remove everything so i'm going to hit run cleaner now and let's see once i hit run cleaner it is asking the confirmation i just pressed yes and then it started cleaning so it will take some time i told you uh, based on the performance of your computer and the files it needs to clean okay but generally it is fast it is like one minute sometimes less than one minute and sometimes hardly like two minutes so far my experience okay so it is still cleaning once the cleaning is finished then uh, we have to uh, reboot our system okay i'm pressing uh, here yes and then i am uh, putting the password so that uh, it can clean all the files uh, which are not necessary for my computer okay i think i, I mistyped my password i'm again typing my password again and then i'm clicking install update okay something like that okay then it will finish everything and then we have to click okay okay to allow the access to remove this thing and then here it is uh, giving me an option that it is trying to close some uh, used application so we have to hit yes uh, if we get this type of warning and then once it is done uh, then it will show you the summary that it is um, it is successfully cleaned everything so for my case i am seeing like 87 percent is almost uh, already cleaned uh, so we have to wait another few seconds like 5 to 10 seconds i believe yes so once it is done then it will give you this type of summary result so sometimes you will get this type of results again so at the time you can just click one more time run cleaner okay and then it will clean everything generally if any application is opened like chrome or firefox it pops up those type of messages before cleaning those things okay now here it is showing safari needs to be closed okay we have to click yes so it will clean everything from safari browser cache also and then once it is finished then it will give us the summary so let's wait another few seconds and see what results it can show us so we are almost done 99 percent and 100 percent is complete okay now it is showing that cleaning complete so in this way guys using c cleaner you can uh, easily clean on your unnecessary files of your computer and that's all guys hopefully by watching this video you are able to uh, download install and use ccleaner to clean your hard disk to remove unnecessary files 
that's all thank you guys for watching the video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching see you on the next video